do you have little pesky white bumps, sometimes skin color, really hard, kind of crusty on your hands and feet and sometimes anywhere? Those could be warts and they're super common. So we can get warts anywhere. Warts are actually human papillomavirus, usually non-sexually transmitted, but there's hundreds of variants of human papillomavirus. The ones that tend to colonize the hands and feet and body parts, again, are non-sexually transmitted, but sometimes we can get warts down there and those can be sexually transmitted. We can get it when our skin barrier is compromised. So if you have a little cut or scrape and you're around some wart virus, which really is ubiquitous in the environment, you can get a wart in there. If you're swimming, sometimes they're transmitted in water. If you're touching people with warts, if you're around a lot of kids that harbor a lot of human papillomavirus, you can get warts. Again, they are transmittable, but they're not terrible. So I get the question all the time, is this a wart, Dr. Train, or is this a callus, or is this a skin cancer? That actually is a much more difficult question than you can wonder. Many times I've taken off what looks like a wart and it actually has what's called squamous cell carcinoma inside of it. Squamous cell carcinoma is a non-melanoma type of skin cancer and it can invade deeply and it fools many dermatologists. So if you have a wart that's continuing to get bigger, not shrinking, not going away, get in to see your dermatologist. There are so many over-the-counter ways that you can take care of warts at home. Several of my kids have had warts and I actually do over-the-counter things myself as a dermatologist first. So the most effective thing that's been shown in studies is actually duct tape. Yeah, that silver old duct tape. By occluding the wart and keeping it covered up to seven to 10 days at a time, you strangulate the oxygen supply to the wart. So just keep it covered as much as possible. Another good thing you can do at home is filing it. So take a little pumice stone or an emery board and file away at it until you can see a little drop of blood because that means you're through the dead skin. I always say warts make their own protective mechanism just like a turtle shell. They make all that dead skin on top of them. So you wanna get through all that dead skin by filing or you know trying to get rid of it and then you put your duct tape on top of it. That can be magic. Sometimes taking oral zinc, Z-I-N-C, can be great because zinc kind of turns on the immune system against viral particles. Um, anything you can do that kind of wakes up your immune system to the wart will help it go away. But if your wart is not going away and you're concerned, the most common treatment that we do in the dermatology office is called liquid nitrogen. And people always say, why can't I just buy one of those little um, kits at Walgreens or Walmart or Amazon? The liquid nitrogen that we use is in highly propelled canisters that are very expensive and it's extra strong cold. In fact, it's delivered at my office every two days. So our liquid nitrogen in the dermatology office is super potent. Often we'll often pair it or file it beforehand so the liquid nitrogen penetrates a little bit deeper. We use injections like Candida to turn on the immune system. We even use laser. And the way that laser is works for warts is by um, getting rid of the blood supply, the blood vessel to the wart, or by resurfacing the wart. So we as dermatologists have a ton of ways to get rid of those resistant warts, but I highly recommend that you try at home reasons first.